Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. On this lovely day, we are going to present to you our very own food product development under the subject of SG28. The name of our product is Jack and Rake. It is a jackfruit floss which is a dry fruit meat with a light and fluffy texture similar to coarse cotton. Also, it is very suitable to be topped on buns and porridge. It tastes sweet but not greasy. It also comes with original and spicy flavor. The purpose of our innovation is to provide an option for non-meat eaters to eat floss that has similar characteristics as chicken or other meat floss will have. Besides that, we also want to promote jackfruit vastly to the entire world. In addition, we want to maximize the consumption of jackfruit by using the wasted part of the fruit which is the tendrils also called as racks. By doing so, the waste produced by consumers who reject the unwanted part of the fruit can be reduced. We often find chicken and meat floss in the market in Malaysia but never have we ever encountered something like jackfruit floss. As for now, jackfruit has been developed into various products varying from sweet to savory including as meat substitute. However, none of them has turned jackfruit into floss that is light and cottony in texture. Moreover, the main ingredient of this product is the rack of jackfruit which usually are wasted. This makes our product Jack and Rack as the first ever floss that is made from jackfruit rack in Malaysia. We are targeting to sell our product to non-meat eaters and vegetarians in particular. Other than that, we aim to supply our product to bakers and restaurateurs. Moreover, instead of just focusing on the national market, we wish to break the international market too. This is our formulation for 500 grams of jackfruit floss. For the procedure, firstly, we cut the tendril off the skin using a sharp knife. Then we wash the tendril and they completely clean under running water. Next, we boil the tendril in the boiler machine at 100 Celsius for 30 minutes. We strain boiled tendrils with a strainer and let it sit aside. Using a blender, we blend a garlic and ginger together until it forms a paste for original flavor. While for the spicy flavor, add in chili and chili powder all together in the blender. Then in a nonstick pan on medium high heat, put in oil and stir fry the ingredient blend it earlier until it smells nice. After that, add in boiled tendrils and put in some soy sauce and brown sugar together. Cook continuously until it looks dry for 15 minutes and bring down to low heat and cook for another 45 minutes until the tendrils unravel into fine string and smell toasty. Once it becomes flossy and light, turn off the heat and transfer it to the large tray and let it cool. After cooling, transfer the floss into a specified plastic bag which is the vacuum bag. At the open end of the plastic, put it into the vacuum sealer machine to start vacuum packing. Finally, the product is ready to sell to everyone, especially our targeted market. Throughout the whole production process, we use boiler machine to boil the jackfruit tendrils and we also use the vacuum seal at the end of the production step to pack our final product. There are 5 recommended analysis that can be done to analyze our product. For physical analysis, we can measure the absolute color reflected by the floss by using chromometer. And we can do texture analysis using TAXT plus texture analyzer. For chemical analysis, crude protein content determination using Kijedal method and fat content determination using chocolate extraction are recommended. And of course, sensory analysis is crucial in food product development. We can carry out different tests, descriptive tests, and acceptance tests for our product. The total costing for our raw material is 10.6 thousand ringgit. For packaging material, the total cost is 3.2 thousand ringgit. Then the total cost for our machinery and equipment is 3.2 thousand ringgit too. These are the overall cost for our fixed asset and monthly spending. For salary, we have a total of 6 workers which consists of 1 supervisor and 5 general workers. The total salary will be 12.3 thousand ringgit. Good news to our future customers, our product is only 17 ringgit for the weight of 500 grams. Compared to other brands, our product is relatively cheaper by 12% without any less of quality and probably better. After deducting the capital cost from the monthly sales income, the profit we get is 57.4 thousand ringgit which make our total profit is 67.597%. We choose to pack our product using the vacuum sealing technology. It is a process of removing air in the vacuum bag containing our food product using the vacuum sealer. Vacuum sealing preserves food by inhibiting the growth of mold, fungus, and bacteria. This is great and it also works for legume, pasta, and other pantry items that get soft or stale when exposed to oxygen and moisture in the air. Thank you for watching. That is all from us. Till next time, goodbye!